Well, hello, Shoreline Church family. Uh, this is your devotional for October 6th. I hope you're enjoying our walk through the book of James. We're still in chapter 1, and we're picking things up right in verse 16. And the opening words are kind of shocking. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. But then it's sort of something positive. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. Just a couple of thoughts from this passage. First of all, uh, th- my theme is kind of this. Uh, recognize the source of good gifts. Don't be deceived. What's the deception? Well, everything I have is because of me. I'm so talented. I'm so smart. I'm so gifted. I work so hard. Now, you might be talented, gifted, smart, and work hard. I, I hope those things are all true. But at the end of the day, the good gifts we have come from above. Well, but I earn it with my strength. Who gave us our strength? God did. Well, I figured it out with my mind. Who gave us our mind? God did. Well, I, I navigated this with my cleverness. Who gives you the ability to, to strategize and figure things out? That comes from God. And, and so a couple of thoughts here. If the attitude is this, look what I did, look what I do. Every good thing I have is because of me. Just put a big time out and say, wait a minute, Lord, wait a minute. I probably have the wrong perspective. Don't be deceived. Maybe it's not all about me. If the attitude is, look what God did, look how good God is. Do I partner with God? Absolutely. But all the raw materials of what I have to work with, God gave me to start with. And so, so I acknowledge God's good gifts. And then something very interesting in this passage, talking about understanding that all of the gifts that we have are given from God, is the greatest gift. Listen to this, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, spiritual birth. Our physical birth is a gift from God. Our spiritual rebirth is a gift from the hand of Jesus by His grace through His sacrifice. And so acknowledge that not only are the gifts that you have in life wonderful, but the greatest gift, the gift of Jesus, the gift of grace, the gift of new life, to be chosen by God. What an amazing, incredible gift. And so here's my encouragement, and I think what James would encourage us to do. Notice God's goodness. Man, the mind you have, thank you, Lord, for this mind. It's a gift from you. The hands you have, maybe, maybe you're a craftsman, maybe you have great skills at building or developing, or maybe you're an artist. God, thank you for my eyes to see, my hands to, to paint, to sculpt, to, 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 to run a camera, whatever your artistic expression, what, whatever you have, whatever you do, just pause and notice God's been good. Don't be deceived. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. God, this is our prayer, that we would walk with a clear reality that you have been good, that you have provided, that you amaze us with your grace, you lavish us, with abilities and thoughts and ideas and creativity, we want to give you praise. And Lord, above all things, you've chosen us to be called your daughters, to be called your sons, to be called children of the living God. So fill us with your presence. Fill us with thankful hearts for all you've given. Let us partner with you and always do our part, but always recognize that to you be all the glory. Because if it were not for your goodness, we'd have nothing at all. So we give you praise this day in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a great rest of the week. I'll see you Sunday morning. I may see you, hopefully, through the camera online, or I may come by and say hi to you in the the courtyard of the family worship venue. I may see you in the worship center. But wherever we gather, let's worship the Lord together. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.